Hello, Chill Computer Guy here. Welcome to the Deep Studio. Hope everybody's having a wonderful holiday. If you're like me and you have the Bitwig Studio, you opened your email. Bitwig Studio furnished us with a little holiday gift, 3.1.1 update. There is a vocoder. Now, I know a lot of people have been asking for a vocoder, and a vocoder is a really cool, uh, creative, useful audio effect device, if you will. Um, but if you never used a vocoder, it's very confusing. It's kind of a, it's a confusing thing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the Bitwig vocoder, how to use it, some examples of it on some basic loops. So before we start the video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's get into the video. All right, so first off, this is the vocoder here. Now there's gonna be two different main things that make up the vocoder sound. One is the modulator, okay? And that is what is modulating the bands. And then there's the carrier, what instrument going through, if you will. Now a vocoder is basically like, like an EQ, but with many more bands. It's, it's like a, you know, an 80 band. In this case, it's 80 bands, I believe is the maximum. And so what's going on is when, is when audio goes through it, it's, it's modulating the, the bands of the EQ. And then the sound that is going through that EQ is the carrier. Okay. So first off for this to work, you're going to have to have two tracks. You have your normal instrument track and you have your vocoder uh, on that instrument track. Now, if you play, nothing's going to happen because you need to have both a carrier and a modulator. In this example, we're going to use an audio track for the uh, the modulator. Let's go ahead and play this. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Live. So in case you were wondering, we're coming live from the seventh dimension. That's what he's telling us there. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this audio right here. See that audio? Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Live from the... This is going to be our modulator. So visualize this audio waveform going through an 80 band EQ. Let's say there's an 80 band EQ right here, okay? So within this blue region is 80 bands of an EQ. And so this audio waveform is sliding through and modulating those bands of the EQ. That's what the modulator is. Now, as far as the carrier, that's the instrument that is before the EQ. So think of an instrument and then the 80 band EQ and then an audio waveform modulating that EQ as it goes through it. So that's basically what a vocoder is. Now there's going to be different types of vocoder. This particular vocoder is 80 bands, which is, is good. You know, that gives you a, like I say, a, a visualize those 80 bands. A lot of vocoders are less bands. So 80 bands is actually pretty good. Think of it as, as if, you, if you're familiar with granule synthesis, think of it as slicing that up into 80 slices of EQ bands as opposed to 16 or 32 or a lot of, a a lot of, uh, uh, of vocoders are like 64 or 32 bands. So 80 bands is a good amount there. Um, so that's your modulator. So basically what you're going to have is you're going to have your, your vocal coming Live in. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Live. So what you're going to do is you're going to mute that. Okay. You're going to mute that vocal. You don't want to hear that vocal. Okay. You want to hear just the vocoder. So we mute the vocal, but we let the vocoder play. So here's the big... The big secret here with the vocoder is in your modulator, you're gonna have to insert an audio side chain. So let's check out the setup here. Basically, we're gonna use 64 bands this time. We got our modulator, which is our vocal 15, our DP vocal 15 there. That's modulating these 64 bands of EQ. And then our carrier is just a simple organ, very straightforward. This is kind of kind of like a sine wave, you know, the cleaner the signal or the cleaner the instrument running through the vocoder, sometimes the better results you'll have. And then also, we have an effect slot, which we've added a, a, a delay there, and uh, we'll play that here in a minute. So this isn't going to work unless your actual, you know, vocal loop or whatever's modulating is actually playing through. So you're going to have to start your vocal loop there. That we can see that here in the uh, the, the little uh, spectrogram here. And so now, if we play a note. And then of course you can also play chords. Very cool, very neat stuff. And then, of course, you have a solo button here for the mod. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. And you also have a solo button for the carrier. Live from the seventh dimension via satellite. 
Very cool stuff. That's it, the Bitwig vocoder. Check it out. It's a little confusing as an audio effect, but all you got to remember is you got to have a modulator, which is modulating, in this case, the 64 bands, and then you have to have a carrier. Now, you can also, I'm pretty sure with this particular vocoder, because it is Bitwig Studio, you can probably use any kind of input that triggers the EQ band. So, I don't know. I haven't ran MIDI through this. You might be able to just have a MIDI loop run through here. As you know, with, uh, with the audio receiver, there's also a note receiver, I believe it's called. So I'm pretty sure that can probably be used as well to modulate the EQ band. So And so as far as the modulator side, we can control the uh, the level, the input gain, if you will, and that's going to just cause more of a dramatic modulation of those EQ bands. We also have a format filter, which is super, super powerful and super, super useful. That's going to, again, uh, alter that modulation coming into those uh, 64 EQ bands. And then we have a, a brightness. So And then not only that, but we have this little speaker icon, and this is going to basically solo the modulation modulator coming in. So if we click on that, we'll hear the audio loop that is actually causing the modulation here in the EQ. Dimension via satellite, live from the seventh dimension via satellite, live from the seventh dimension via satellite. Very cool. Now, moving on over to the carrier side, we have the instrument that is running through the EQ that is being modulated by the modulator. Now we have, again, a solo button here. And so now if we play... We hear our organ without any modulation going on. Uh, and then of course we can increase the, uh, the output gain of that. And then we also have a wet effects. Uh, so we can put a, an effects. Um, in this particular case, I put a, a delay here in the wet effects slot. So let's go ahead and listen to that. Very cool that you put an audio effects that will only affect the wet signal. And then, of course, you have a mix uh, knob. Well, so we can mix in the original signal. And then, of course, in the middle here, we have this, this spectrogram here. And so this is basically the dB gain in the floor of, of how much you're modulating those EQ bands. Um, and then we have a high and low pass filter. So if we only want the, the upper bands of the EQ to be modulated, we can control that here. The amount of bands, like I say, it's anywhere from eight bands all the way up to 80 bands. And so that's pretty cool. I like 64. I think 64 is, sounds better than, than, than 80 or better than a lower. It just has a very uh, kind of you know, Daft Punk kind of uh, vibe to it. And then we have a global uh, bandwidth and we have a, an attack and release very similar to like a compressor or something where it's going to grab the signal, it's going to release the signal. And then we have this uh, little snowflake icon which is going to freeze. So if you're playing... This. Then of course everything could be modulated. This is Bitwig Studio, you know everything could be modulated. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the vocoder. Very exciting new audio effect here. Just be sure to to understand that you need to have a modulator and a carrier to get any uh, sound out of this. Um, but once you learn it, uh, you start to getting in there uh, a little trial and error, a little experimentation. You can really make a, a really cool kind of mechanical voice, kind of Daft Punk kind of a, a sound uh, here in Bitwig Studio. So anyway, that's it. That's what we're talking about today is the, the new Bitwig 3.1 one upgrade the new vocoder um everybody have a great holiday be sure to subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up comment below let me know what you want to see and if you haven't already tell a friend about the channel subscribe click that bell so you don't miss anything and we'll be back next week with some more videos thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys again bye bye now